I still can't believe he won. Uh, but I think it's going to be okay. I don't know. I don't think a lot will change. I think Israel will still get money from the U.S. and support. He's better than Hillary. He's uh, with Israel all the way. Um, I think he could he could yeah, yeah. help us with the problem of like the whole peace thing here, and maybe help us build up Israel more as a country itself and for a better place for Jewish people to be. We don't know how how will be the politics of, uh, of America now with Donald Trump. Before the election, he can say something, now he can tell anything he wants. I'm happy that Trump did win. Um, I think that he will do better for Israel um, than Obama did. Very happy that Mrs. Clinton lost. Why? It's fantastic. Enemy of the Jewish people. Always do things against the Jewish people. Corrupt person. Corrupt as that was your Secretary of State. Corrupt. Doesn't deserve to be in the uh, president's job. She deserves to be in jail. I'd rather have someone that that's not controlling himself, like personally, but is like a wise businessman than someone that's um, it's not nice but cruel. Very good impact. In he's, what got, he's got two kids, uh, uh, two daughters-in-law who are Jewish. One of them is from Rosh Shabbat, so it'll be very good for Israel. It can help with security. Well, the president doesn't have much to say, so mostly for the people around him. It depends who he takes. I think Trump is much more understanding to the problems we have in Israel regarding our problems with terror and dealing with terror much better than Hillary would and much better than the Obama regime. No, I think that the politics in Israel are best left for Israel to deal with. I think it's best if America just gives support when asked for and it doesn't involve beyond that. Well, I hope he'll uh, advise Israel to actually uh, build in, in Yehud and Shamran and, uh, and uh, help Israel with that. I think he understands the, the way to deal with terrorists, not by uh, sending the money and help, but by fighting them. And I don't see him uh, trying to force Israel into compromises that might danger it. The enemy of your enemy is your friend. Donald Trump is, uh, is uh, looking in the reality with straight eyes. Given Israel a voice, I feel like up till now, like mostly in the UN, but also like all over the world, I feel like um, the Palestinians have a voice and Israel doesn't. He and Netanyahu are more willing to work together. He has no influence about the peace process. He's just like a big man that yells in a red tie. He don't, doesn't really do stuff. No, he can try, he can, he can try and mediate, but it's not going to work. Because nobody can change the status quo. I hope that the Trump administration will not interfere in, uh, in our relations. What did Obama do for Israel? You tell me. If Trump does one thing for Israel, it's a lot better than what Obama's done. That if you look at the world before Obama and after Obama, we had uh, the Arab uh, Spring where all, uh, where all hell broke, and it was majorly because Obama said he's not going to be the cop of the world anymore. Obama was uh, he's a Muslim himself. He was supporting the Muslim cause against the Jewish cause. Uh, for example, not allowing building in Jerusalem, of, uh, in East Jerusalem, of Jewish Jewish building, which is a uh, form of apartheid. Donald Trump will do the, the right thing. He's not uh, afraid. He's not a coward. So this time, in this difficult time all over the world, it's time to uh, strong uh, leaders to take charge, not the, the political correct like Obama that... He's, he's responsible for all, all over uh, what's happening all over the world is Obama's fault. Hopefully that the Palestinian Authority will go out of existence and that the Jewish people will rule over Judea and Samaria. Hopefully that's going to happen. I don't know if Trump's going to have any hand in that, but the, uh, the Almighty will have a hand in that. We don't need Trump for that.